All right, good Lord. It's the weekend. I'm gonna catch a lot of flack on this video, but you know what? It's gotta be said. You know, I'm a stump grinder, but I'm basically, I'm a subcontractor. I, I most of, 90% of my business is for tree companies, landscaping companies, concrete companies. I'm a sub. Okay, so I run my own company. All right, so I'm gonna tell you what I deal with, but this video is also for your tree guys. If you guys are getting into business or you've been in the business for a while, I, I'm gonna show you from perspective of how to up your game, okay? All right, the haters are gonna start hating, but hey, it's gotta be said, all right? I love you too, all right? And if you get anything out of this video at all, just give me a, you know, hit the like button, please. If you don't like it, hit the you don't like button either, you know. As long as you don't make any nasty comments. If you do, nobody ever sees them. I delete them anyway. Listen, this is like a gauge, all right? I just drew this real quick. Some of you are going to laugh about it. Some of you are going to say, oh, my God, I can't believe he said it. But I'm going to say it. In the middle of this gauge is where I want you guys to be, at least in the very middle, all right? That's the guy with the trailer. He's got a pickup and a trailer. But what may set some difference from here and here is at least he has professional saws, he has saddles, and he's learning. He's up in his game. Every year he's buying some new equipment, maybe a newer saw, or he's taking some classes on, on proper rigging and felling and yada yada. And he, you know, he didn't, he maybe he worked for somebody and he's branched off on his own. He doesn't have a lot of money. But hey, it's got a pickup and a trailer, all right? So that puts you right here in this cage, all right? Next one down from that is your lawn guy. He's in the lawn business. He's a professional lawn guy. He's very good at what he does. Every now and then he has a customer, right, that has a tree. Maybe it's a small tree. No big thing. He knocks it out. He has, let's just say he's got a 16, 18-inch saw. It's a professional saw. But, you know, it's not a big boy, all right? He doesn't carry a big boy saw. And he, he stays in his lane. And when it comes time for a bigger tree that's going up, uh, he'll call or he'll subcontract a tree company. And they'll subcontract me, you know. And those guys, I love you guys too. I do a lot of work for you guys. I respect you because you know your game. You, you, you're not a climber. You're not a feller to fell trees. But you... You, you're a lawn guy, and you know how to use equipment. Everything's good, all right? You're an honest man. You pay. You, you, you come to me, too, as a stump guy. I say, hey, Adam, you know a good tree guy that can help me get this tree down? Maybe the guy will take the tree down, and I can clean it up. So, yeah, i got plenty of guys. I'll give you a number. And that, that's how I interact with people, okay? All the way to the end of the scale. Yeah, some guys are going to give me the finger. They're going to call me whatever. That's Mr. Crackhead. I have the right to call some people a crackhead. I know you can say, what well, gives you the right or whatever. I still love these guys. Don't get me wrong. I still have compassion. I'm a human being, you know, but this is a guy that um, everything he has is kind of, you know, his truck barely goes on the road. He might have a 16 foot trailer that, uh, you know, the tires are balled on. He's Mr. Unsafe, okay? Or, listen, I was a hazmat captain. We used to bust meth labs, right? So don't look at me and say, how would I know? I know. I used to be see guys during the, when I was off duty. And I tell them, hey, guys, I catch you tomorrow and I'm, and I'm wearing a uniform. I can't help you with nothing, right? The law is the law. And they, they, they were all nice to me. And I was all nice to them. You know, right now we got a big heroin problem and, or a fentanyl problem. Uh, which came from people abusing painkillers and all. I have a lot of heart for those people. I understand it. It's got a grip on them. They can't get get it. So if you're in here, I want you to move move up the scale. Beat it. You can do this. Clean yourself up. If you're at the bottom of this scale, it's who you're hanging around with. Start hanging around with better people up the scale. Start learning. You know, it's the people you're hanging around with that... that Here's the deal. You might be a follower. You're not a leader. Okay? So you follow. Someone says, hey, let's go party. You don't have the strength to say no. So I'm just asking you to say no. Say no. Start hanging around with better people, you know. 
And I'll be honest with you, even if it's family, you got to say no. Sometimes you got to separate yourself. You go, you see, you know, you, you may have relatives, close, close relatives that are hooked on this crap. You got to walk away, stay away. You know, you love them, but you got to, you got to stay away. All right, enough of that part. So we got that. The long guy, we discussed him. We talked, I want you somewhere, somewhere in the middle and coming over. All right. In the middle is the guy with the trailer, pro saws, like I said. He's constantly trying to train. He's hanging around other people that are on the further part of the scale, that are, that are professional climbers, are learning new techniques, or they're guys that are getting older, starting to get out, and somebody like you in the middle is going to be progressing and taking over in the future, okay? Like my son, all right? So next guy up here is a guy in transition from the guy with the trailer, pro saws and learning, he's in transition. He's a guy that got that's always buying new equipment, looking in his mind, how do I move my business up? He's got either a chip truck or like the new thing now, guys, instead of using chip trucks, everybody's using dump trailers or, or, or buying apprentice loaders, all right? So he's a guy that's progressing into that field. So he's really, he's a, he's an up and coming tree company. All right. I, I do so much work for those guys in this part right here in the middle. I've got, I've got guys that I've known a long time, had a business for 20 years. They've got a pickup and a trailer and they can't graduate to the dump trailer because they use their money for other things rather than saving up or having a mission to move one step up, okay? And these, I have guys that are so freaking good in this thing that these guys and these guys hire them. But they just seem, they can't, they spin their wheels, they can't get there, all right? So I want you, if you're this guy, I want you to pay more attention to your money, all right? Now we go here to this graph. Like I told you, the guy in transition with the dump, he's got the dump trailer. And then he moves from a, from a flatbed trailer to a dump trailer. He goes to the dump trailer and then he moves on. What does he do? He gets himself a, a ditch witch, all right? A mini skid steer. So he moves up. That doubles his capacity of what he can push. He doesn't need that manpower. He can do big jobs with two, three guys, all right? Then we go over here, the great tree guys. This is a guy that's got the chip trucks. He's got the mini skids. He's got the, I mean, he, he's got the equipment. And I love working for these guys. And I love working for these guys. And I still love working for this guy in the middle. Long guys, I still love you too. I'll give you advice. I'll give you the names of people to call. Well, don't get up in that tree. I'll give you somebody to get up in a tree. All right? What do we do from the great, the great tree guys? Like I say, they got everything. They're doing well. They're doing fantastic or whatever. Basically, you're at the top. The only one above you swings over. That's the guy, the big craning company, the big boys, all right? The guys that are, we're talking about Asplund, right tree service. That's a big, that's the corporate guys, okay? That's the guys that you don't compete with. That's guys that do line clearance work, all that stuff. That's somebody you may go to work for to gain the experience to go up through here. That's your option, okay? And you know what? Every year there's, uh, don't get me wrong, International uh, TCIA, International Tree Whatever Society. They give classes and all. This year it's going to be in November 10th through something. Go online, look it up. And uh, it's an expo, tree expo. That's why it's listed on the Google. Look it up. And they have all the equipment of the tree industries there, the cranes, the chippers, the stump grinders, everything's there in one big building. It's a guy thing, all right? And they give classes before there. Like some of the guys I know here are going to get certified to work around power lines, okay? So I know this sounded offensive when I was talking there, but I still love the guy, the underdog guy. You know, the guy, the guy over here is the guy that was the felon. All right, a guy that's cleaning up his life, I want him to move up. All right, don't keep hanging around people that suck the life out of you and bring you back to the, I'm sorry, the crap hole. All right, you'll never be anything if you hang around people in that zone. Anyway, God bless you. This was just a little 
deal. I, I, if I offended anybody, I'm sorry. I'm just speaking the truth, all right? So let's all start becoming more and more and more and more professional, all right? I don't want us to sound like, you know, flunky guys that come out or whatever. Don't be that guy. Clean yourself up, all right? I've got guys in this territory right here that owe me money, that won't answer my phone, so I have to go around and trick, have my son call from his phone, use my wife's phone, or when I see them, when I'm all over the city. When I'm driving around, I see them in a the corner of my eye, in a parking lot somewhere, I make a donut and trap them in there and they pay me. I still love them. And I know why they didn't pay me, because they're just sticking it up their arm or drinking it down or, you know what, gambling. Gamble, tree guys, there's a lot of tree guys that gamble, okay? I know it's a dangerous business in itself, but the money's big and a lot of guys just go through the money. And I want you guys to retire Start putting money, open up a little retirement accounts. I want you to retire because your body can only do so much when you get older. All right? This is an old guy talking to you. So God bless you. See you on the next one. Like I say, I hope if I, if I offended you, I hope I offended you in a positive manner. See you on the next one.